Now let us talk about Zenker's diverticulum. So this diverticulum happens at the upper part of the esophagus just as the endoscope tries to get into the esophagus. This is a pulsion diverticulum. That means the diverticulum happens as an outpouching of the mucosa in between two layers of muscle wherever there is weakness. So let us find out a little more. Here is the Zenker's diverticulum and this is due to weakness between the inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and the cricopharyngeus muscle where the diverticulum happens. Most of the time patients do not have any symptoms when the diverticulum is small but when it becomes bigger uh, they do complain of difficulty swallowing. They do have symptoms of a cough because of regurgitation of fluid and they show the neck as the area where they have difficulty swallowing. So typically you diagnose diverticulum in this area by doing a barium swallow. So let us look at the details of this diverticulum. Here is the Zenker's diverticulum. This is an outpouching of the mucosa between the inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and the cricopharyngeal muscle. When you perform endoscopy in an elderly patient, you have to be very careful in not perforating the Zenker's diverticulum. Let us look at it at an endoscopy. So when you go behind the larynx, you will first encounter a small pouch. This is a Zenker's diverticulum. And to the left side of the pouch, you see the septum. And as you go over the septum, you enter the esophagus. So let us review these findings in this picture. So the Zenker's diverticulum, the septum and the esophageal lumen. So it is important to be very careful when you are performing endoscopy in an elderly patient who complains of difficulty swallowing and symptoms are suggestive of Zenker's diverticulum. Thank you.